is Sam Larson coming from Lone Flag in Del Mar, California. We're going to talk about the evolution of denim jeans in men's fashion. Denim really took off in the 1870s. It was more of a workwear thing during the gold rush uh, all the way through the 1950s. Really workwear based and utilitarian based. Not until the 1950s did it really become something that was a part of a wardrobe. And even then, it was sort of a countercultural thing, uh, sort of fighting a more established, grown up look of, of a dress up. So, more towards uh, musicians and younger kids and people that wanted a little bit of a different look. Since then, it's a really staple thing in every guy's wardrobe, and I would argue it's the most important part of any guy's wardrobe is to have a really good fitting pair of dark denim jeans. The sort of transition from jeans then till now hasn't, not that much has changed. Uh, really now we focus on the weight of a jean, the fit of the jean, and then the wash. But other than that, a lot of the cuts have stayed the same and most of the manufacturing process is the same as it was 50 years ago. If you look at uh, a couple different options we have here, this is just a version of a wash, something that's, something that's part of the evolution of the denim that's changed now that we didn't used to do uh, back in the 50s, but you'll see about 100 different washes in the marketplace today. And it's just the tumbling and the effect that can be given to a denim to have it bleed. And it gives it a softer look and different patterns and whiskering within the indigo. This is a traditional raw denim you can see that it's not washed out at all. It has a little bit more rigidity into it, in it than a traditional uh, wash jean. Not much has changed with this other than that now it comes in a slim taper, it comes in a traditional straight leg, it comes in a skinny. There's a lot more versions for fit.